Alright, I think this KOs. This is pretty strong. Nice, okay. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Scarlet and Violet VGC 2023 Rental Team video. Today I'm going to be breaking down this uh, Iron Jugulus plus Quaqua Vol team that I made and have been using for the past week. By the way, I found out some of you guys are pronouncing it Quaquaval or Quaq... I don't know, like you guys are pronouncing it weird. It's Quaqua Vol. There's, there's a little bit of a rhythm to it. Anyways, yeah, we're going to break down this team. But before we do that, if you guys get if you guys enjoyed this video at any point in time, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications because I bring you daily competitive Pokemon content and answer my comment question of the day, which is what Pokemon do you think out of the three starters is the best in series two? Let me know and let's go ahead and get into the team breakdown. Also, if you haven't noticed that my room has a little bit of an echo, I, I'm moving furniture around and it's it's a little bit better than before because I have some more furniture in here, but I'll find something to fill up the, the space to get rid of that echo. But yeah, let's break down the team. So this team is one that I built on my Patreon and YouTube member thing. So you guys would have already known what the team is if you guys uh, supported me on you know, Twitch, YouTube, or Patreon. I release that every Sunday, so the one's going up today. But this is the breakdown video for everyone, so let's get into it. Uh, Iron Jugulus, very cool Pokemon. This was the goal of the video, basically. I wanted to use Iron Jugulus in a team because I thought it was pretty underwhelming and I found a pretty novel way to do it. So the one thing that I don't like about Iron Jugulus is that its only niche above Hydreigon is having a super strong Hurricane, but to have 100% accuracy on that Hurricane, it has to actually pair with a Pelipper, which means you have two flying types and it's, it just doesn't seem that great. Maybe if like Maybe if Politoed existed, I'd be okay with it, but it doesn't. So I found a way to make good use of it without having to rely on a, a non-manual rain setter, uh, and that's by giving this guy rain dance himself. So the whole point of the team is it's like a hyper offense team with Golden Go and Quaqua Vol, but we also have some uh, defensive options uh, with these three guys who will help out for like trick room matchups or just moments where you really need to uh, position a little bit more carefully. But yeah, the Iron Jugulus is running a Booster Energy Cork Drive set with Rain Dance, Tailwind, Hurricane, and Dark Pulse. We have 4 HP, Max Attack or Max Special Attack, Max Speed, and its whole deal is it's just gonna like go for super super fast Tailwinds uh, with that Cork Drive Speed Boost, making it very hard to stop. It's Dark type, so it's untauntable, and we're actually Terra Flying, which will allow us to uh, deal a ton of damage with those things once the Rain Dance is up. Or if you just want to like shoot for the moon and go for a non-rain dance accuracy boosted hurricane you can try that too but yeah it's a really strong pokemon and it enables our choice specs golden go we have not nasty plot sorry i actually adjusted the team afterwards but this is our set we have make it rain shadow ball dazzling gleam thunderbolt max speed max special attack timid it's just golden go it does everything we have a Covert Cloak Arcanine. It's just super physically bulky. It's the same set as last week's Rental Team because I found it to be really nice in a lot of situations, especially against Iron Hands, which this team's super weak to without the Arcanine. Basically, that Covert Cloak will make us immune to fake out flinches, allowing us to more reliably burn Iron Hands or not really have to deal with Rock Slide flinches from opposing Tyranitar or even uh, Sand Rush Lycanroc. So that's super nice. We have Intimidate as well. And we have just Snarl and Heat Wave, just a general supportive set. We have my Rocky Helmet Amoongus that I have not changed since Series 1. It is very reliable. Terra Water, Regenerator, Protect, Rage Powder, Spore, Clear Smog. You could also swap out Clear Smog for Pollen Puff if you really want, but I like Clear Smog. And we have Assault Vest, Iron Hands, Fake Out, Drain Punch, Wild Charge, Volt Switch. Something that you can do with this team is you can go for like Fake Out plus Tailwind, or if you suspect your opponent of wanting to double protect anyways, what you can actually do is um, uh, go for the... Or not like... Not like double protect, but like protect one of the Pokemon so that one's open to Volt Switch on. But you can like go for Tailwind and then slow Volt Switch into Quaquavel. <laughs> I said it wrong, just to know you guys that time. I'm sorry, I wanted to be annoying. But yeah, uh, you go for the Tailwind, slow Volt Switch into Quaquavel, and then you go for the Rain Dance and go for Terra Water, Aqua Step, and get like a lot of damage to that. So yeah, that's the basic gist of like how you can use that. And we have our Quaquavel, which of course can just go for close combat, detect Aqua Step and Aqua Jet. Uh, it's got Moxie, just like me. So you're going to be able to go for those moves. And if you get a KO with any of them, which honestly, I wish I could run Wave Crash on this guy, but I feel like both of these moves are necessary. Um, also, we're Protect, technically. I didn't want to have to breed for Detect. But yeah, uh, Life Orb, Terra Water, Aqua Step does a lot of damage in the rain. You'll pick up a lot of KOs. It's a really strong move. And each time you do, you get an attack boost. So yeah, let's go ahead and try to find a game with this team. Uh, unfortunately, Series 2 has not begun yet. So I'll probably only do one game. By the way, Series 2 begins in a couple of days here. I think today's like the 29th, so it should be like 
five days, I think it starts. So let's see if we can find a game with this team. Rental code's on screen. And I'll probably only do one battle for today just to get it done because I, I have a very busy day ahead of me and I don't feel like having to look for rental, not rental, look for um series two battles for like an hour because it's very hard to find series two battles on the casual battle ladder. So we're just going to do what we can. Okay, let's see what I can get. I'll pause as soon as I get a series two battle. I'll just come back. All right, immediately. This is the first person I found and they do have a series two team. It's really cool. It looks like a series one team just with like an iron hand slapped onto it. Um, with that in mind, we have to be a little bit careful, but I do think that Iron Hands is one of my best Pokemon for this matchup. And I definitely want to get the Tailwind off. We could do like Iron Hands, Iron Jugulus, and try to go for a one shot onto... No. Let me think. All right, I want to go Iron Hands on Iron Jugulus because it gives me a lot of flexibility with my lead. Uh, and I want to go with uh, Quaqua Ball. And I think I want to go Arcanine. It's, it's a little bit risky, but I do think Arcanine is quite good. I just don't want to lead off with it. Maybe I do want to lead off with it. No, no, we'll do this. All right. I can, I can, I can get by without it. We're fine. We're fine. I don't have to lead. All right. The only reason I don't want to lead off with it is because some Annihilate, while a lot of them will run, uh, not Insomnia, Vital Spirit, uh, some will still be running Defiant, which is quite scary for the Arcanine lead. Okay, that's like a really good lead for me. So I can secure Tailwind, or I can just like go for the KO. Oh, this is so risky. I really want to go for the KO. You know what? I'm going to go for the KO. I'm going for this KO. This is so risky. But uh, Murkrow tend to invest just in physical defense, so I think Terra Flying Hurricane plus Fake Out should do it. Unless they're Covert Cloak, in which case this was a huge waste of time. Uh, but also, we see they didn't hard switch, so it's likely just a flip turn. Oh! It's Covert Cloak. I was like, that did a lot. <laughs> that, I was like, that did a lot. They're either Sash or Covert Cloak. Oh, that's not great for me. Um, Let me think. Oh, that's so bad. I could have matched the Tailwind. I could have matched the Tailwind. All right, at the very least, I get rid of this guy. So with some proper positioning, we should be okay. The only thing is one of these guys has to have like a clear amulet. With this sort of team, you have a clear amulet somewhere, and that's like the concern. All right. Let's go ahead and go hard Arcanine. And I'm going to try to Volt Switch out. I'd imagine they just want to fake out the uh, Iron Jugulus. But that is really bad that I ended up not getting my Tailwind off. Or I ended up not preventing the Tailwind. Alright, come on. Okay, we're good, we're good. I don't think they're Terra Ground Earthquaking because that would just like... Oh, okay, it's him. Terra Electric? Interesting. I think I'm going to get wild charged and it's going to hurt. I don't think they earthquake here though. Unless they protect. Rock Tomb? That does a decent amount. I can uh, cycle out though. And that does like almost nothing. Yeah, let's uh, slow volt switch out of here. And get in my Quaqua Ball. And here I can go for the Protect and get my Iron Hands in. Okay, it's Leftovers. I was like, what is your item? Iron Hands. 
We know where the Covert Cloak is, so we don't have to worry about that. Liquid A You get that? This isn't the Zorark. Bro gets that move? That's crazy. That's insane. Alright. Luckily, all I really need to do is stall out this Tailwind. Uh, let's go ahead and go for the... Slow Volt switch into you, and I'll get in my Arcanine for another Intimidate. I have to be really careful with my Iron Hands, though. I have a feeling the Clear Amulet might be on their, um, on their Palafin. Shouldn't do too much. Nice. Get the Slow Volt Switch. And I need to go for a burn here. Also, I think I want to... Do I want to Rain Dance now? No. But a Tailwind might be useful. I think I Tailwind here. And I can go for Will-O-Wisps. Uh, my Arcanine is pretty safe now. Please connect. <sighs> You're kidding me. Alright. Cool, cool. They missed. That's good. That's good. I'm gonna get, like, wild charge, though, is, like, the only bad thing. Do I live? Yes, I do. Okay. That's pretty good. So I think what I want to do here is I want to burn the... Oh, how good is Quaqua Ball? You know, I think I just go for the Hurricane and the Heat Wave. Or maybe I Hurricane that thing and go for the Will-O-Wisp on you. I think that's my play. If I can connect this, that's going to do like way too much damage to hands. Alright, cool. We connect. Get the Confusion too. That's really nice. Let me connect on this uh, Garchomp and I'll feel good about this game. Nice. Should live that now. Nice. Wild charge goes off. Alright, the question is, does Life Orb Aqua Step KO? Because I kind of need to get the speed boost. I kind of really need the speed boost. I think I have to close combat, unfortunately. Actually, let me check. Quaqua Vault is 150 speed. Am I... Yeah, I'm gonna not outspeed my own Quaqua Vault. Yeah, um, let me go for a Protect and a Heat Wave here. And get a little bit of prior damage. Because they don't seem too keen on switching for some reason. And then I can get a KO with Aqua Step. Alright, cool. Definitely gonna KO with Aqua Step now. I'm glad that. I, I mean, I really hope that KOs me, to be honest. <laughs> Oh, don't hit yourself. I'll be so sad. Okay, good. What? What was that? That's crazy. All right, all right, all right. Um, 
So my play here is actually just going to be to get the Aqua Step KO and go hard into my Iron Hands. And then I should be good. I've been really hesitant to go for um, close combat this game because I'm already taking Life Orb damage. I don't want to get in range of like Jet Punch. Especially if they're like Choice Bandit, like there's a chance that can KO. All right, nice. Get that boost. Earthquake, ooh. All right, I can take that easily. I did like nothing too. All right, my play is gonna be to uh, <laughs> double down this, uh, this, this scary little dude in the right. Well, he's not little anymore. He was little a minute ago. Now he's a big guy. Now he's a big guy. Actually, he's kind of short. <laughs> Wait, what? why is he so short? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Uh, close combat plus fake out should do it. And if they're banded, this this is fine. Because they didn't protect that turn one or hard switch. They just went for flip turn. They might even be scarf, to be honest. Alright, I think this KOs. This is pretty strong. Nice, okay. Get another boost. Outrage, alright. <laughs> And I can finish this game off with an Aqua Step. Let me see if I can get something for the thumbnail, though. Alright, um, that, that's that's for the thumbnail. Definitely, that's for the thumbnail. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's go for the uh, Aqua Step to finish off this. And I'll go into my Arcanine. Cool, get this Intimidate out. By the way, I have the Repeat Ball for my Arcanine because I cycle him in and out and it does a little cycle animation. Nice. Okay, so Quaqua have all got like three KOs that game. It's about as good as you can ask for this thing. Alright, I'm pretty happy with that. That's, that was a good showcase. Obviously, like, it's not the most competitive match because we're like on casual battle right now, but obviously that person was practicing for Series 2 judging by their team. So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. If you have any questions about the team, just ask in the comment section down below. And if you guys want the paste for the team, that's actually in my Discord. I almost never say that for some reason. It is. All my teams are in my Discord. As soon as the rental team drops, the, the paste is in the Discord if you want to use it on Showdown. So link to the Discord down below. If you guys enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, also, if you want to become a YouTube channel member and see next week's team tonight, go ahead you know, become a YouTube channel member or $5 on Patreon or just become a Twitch sub. All of those, as long as you have those accounts connected to your Discord account, you'll be able to get access to that video tonight. But yeah, have a nice one. See you in the next one. Bye.